Hello and thank you for staying with us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin and I've got my amazing co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Beniak. Hello. Hello ladies. Hi. How are you doing? How are you? I like your you look 90s oh, I like your everything. Mm. So <laughs> Beniak. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, you just, you look good too. Thank, Always. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. Mm. I just don't like this indecent. Yeah. Like, I don't know yeah, what so this you're is. So you so if I did that now, they keep would. Keep it tender, man. Like, <laughs> like you're pretty rough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. let's start with. Um, is this a sad news now? Yeah, it is. It just Elba reveals he tested positive for coronavirus despite having no symptoms. Crazy. Crazy, right? Mm. What do you I'm think? Because I know you are the conspiracy <laughs> theory uncle. You know, when I heard it yesterday and it came out and say, and mm -hmm. there, there are no symptoms, mm -hmm. and so I'm just wondering, I mean, but it's confirmed positive, mm -hmm. no symptoms. Mm -hmm. I, I still can't put it together, you know, but the only thing I, I came to mind is his wife. I'm trying to remember her name now. Um, Sabrina. Irina. Oh, Sabrina. Sabrina, yeah. like, mm -hmm. wow. So does that mean... She has it yet. Yeah, exactly. She, she has not been tested yet. But it's clear. But, and I saw her yeah. sitting. You know, okay, let's take a look at this video and then we'll carry on. Hey, uh, what's up, guys? So, look, uh, this morning I, uh, I got some test results back for coronavirus and it came back positive. Yeah, and it sucks. Um, listen, I'm doing okay. Uh, Sabrina hasn't been tested and she's doing okay. Um, I wasn't, I didn't have any symptoms. Um, I got tested because I realized I was. Um, exposed to someone who had also uh, tested positive. I found out last Friday that they were tested positive. I quarantined myself and got a test immediately uh, and got the results back today. Uh, look, this is serious, you know? Now's the time to really think about social distancing, washing your hands. Uh, beyond that, there are people out there who aren't showing symptoms and that can easily spread it, okay? So now's a real time to be really vigilant about washing your hands and keeping your distance, okay? Um, we've told our families, um, they're very supportive. We've told our colleagues um, and, you know, transparency is probably the best thing for this right now. If you're feeling ill or you feel like you should be tested or you've been exposed and do something about it. All right. It's really important. Look, we live in a divided world right now. We can all feel it. It's been bullshit. But now's the time for solidarity. Now's the time for thinking about each other. There are so many people whose lives have been affected from those who have lost people that they love to people that don't even have it and have lost their livelihoods. This is real. All right. Um, I just wanted to share my news with you guys and I will keep you updated as how I'm doing. Um, but so far we're feeling okay. All right, man, stay positive and don't freak out. Okay. Now on, the, on this news, I don't want to stay positive. Just let it be negative. Mm. You know, um, it's, it's a sad news, right? And I know Sabrina to... is rubbing his back. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's quite unfortunate. Mm. I, I don't know if she, if she can escape it. I think that's why she doesn't even need to get tested. She's yeah. obviously been exposed to this. Um, you hear that um, the experts are always telling you that the virus isn't such it's not the worst thing and i remember you were you've been humming on that it's only bad when the person already has a problem like yeah. a condition yeah. and that's the problem with a case like um idris because he could be spreading it or could have spread it to someone who it could kill even if he doesn't yeah. have a symptom yeah. because it's pretty healthy um and and that's why there is the need for isolation and the economy is crumbling because of that uh it's just really sad I, I've, I've seen a lot of theories coming out of this saying that they're paying celebrities to talk and say this and i think we need to really shut that down really quickly that and, and because we don't understand the way the virus works or people haven't really took, taken the time to learn about it they think that it's a it's a conspiracy so for most people the virus itself they say it goes into your lungs attacks your lungs but for the first time it gets into contact it stays in your nose right and if you drink water very often it can actually like fizzle out okay. but you could still be a carrier i could still contract that 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 disease well, it to will you. Be harmful to you exactly so there's a lot of stuff that we you know we need to learn about that and i'm liking that obviously all the celebrities are coming out to talk about it it's beginning to feel more real i also read somewhere yesterday that some people who tested negative which that's saying they recovered from it 
are now testing positive again. again. So mm. this coronavirus thing needs to go. Yeah. Trump called it Chinese virus yesterday. It needs to go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and that has generated another level of conversation. I yeah. mean, Donald Trump is not taking it too well at all. No, yeah. at all. You know, from, in the life of me, um, she almost shut down my my bit, my conspiracy theory because mm. I'm like, you know, I mean, it's Idris Elba, but why would he want to be paid for him to come and say, you know, exactly? I'm, I'm and who's paying him? Yeah. Let's think about that. Who is actually paying you know, him? Again, another side of me thinks about it this way. You know how whenever you go for a lab test, mm -hmm. there's always a trait of malaria so in you. Yeah. Mm. You know, and what if this coronavirus is something like a human immune virus that can actually live within the it's human... It's a coronavirus. Also, they know yeah, the know. features. Also, the, you know? the test was built yeah. from a coronavirus well, itself. You, yeah. Remember that there is also a, a, an ongoing information yeah. that there is lack of test kits. Yes. So why are we testing someone who doesn't have symptoms? It, uh, no, it, get my point. It, because he's yeah. a celebrity. First of all, you have to understand exposed. he's a celebrity and, and he's he been exposed to, to somebody, someone who was tested the person positive. also doesn't have the symptom. And so I'm no, like, no, 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 no. Yeah, we don't know what the person is. The person again, was I'm tested positive. Yeah. I'm just wondering, just, wondering, exposed, just yeah. maybe, so, maybe. So that's what I'm saying, that the virus itself is not scary. It's the yeah. impact of the virus that's even more scary. You know what, let's focus on what he says, social distancing. Mm. Please, people need to understand, especially in this part of the world. Do you people should, if I don't stretch my hand to shake you, please hold your hands. You don't know, try that, to that's shake That's another me. thing. It actually scared me that could we actually have more cases in, in Nigeria? Without even knowing. Without even knowing. Like, I could be a carrier of coronavirus right now, and I don't know. Hi guys. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but that's it. Social. Let's let's practice that social distancing. Mm -hmm. um, wash 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 your hands frequently. Regularly. For those who don't even wash their hands at all, you better get into that habit. If you like, let it become. Did you guys you know, hear on the real where um, that lady, Adrian, or whatever? Rob's it, ex said that she doesn't wash her hands after she poops. She doesn't. In she her house. That confident. Ad, Ad, in her house. Adrian. Adrian. That's yeah. A, yeah. Um. This guy's yeah, ex. Yeah. She doesn't wash her hands after she poops in her house. So outside when she poops. <laughs> I just feel ridiculous. Please let's move on to the next okay. story. Yeah. You know? mm. <laughs> okay. Just like you were saying, yeah. they need to wash your hands regularly. regularly. Use um alcohol-based sanitizers. Yes. And, and just, like you also rightly said, please don't stretch out your hand and shake me. I don't want to shake you. If we're not there yet, time, can we still you know? shake? Calm no, down. No, we, no can't. we can't. And, and no, there is actually a, a rule that says a guy should not stretch out his hands to shake a lady first unless she does so. So can we start applying that one at least from now because oh, of wow. this coronavirus okay. issue? Yeah. Thank you. Because right. most of the time they stretch out their hands, it's just like, don't want to be rude, like, okay. Mm. But sometimes, or most times, I really don't want to shake you. Even mm. with some, even without the coronavirus sometimes, yeah. I don't you know, you just doesn't stretch it out. Don't, don't know what you touched. Me. I really don't want you, to you do that. Hey, shaking is a problem now. Okay, moving on real quick. <laughs> Nicki Minaj's husband gets um, his internet use restriction lifted. One of the terms of his pretrial release when he was arrested for failing to register as a sex offender was that he couldn't use the web unless approved by his supervisor. But that has now been lifted. Congratulations to him. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm just happy for Kenneth, man. I don't know. You know, I I really don't know so much about him, but mm -hmm. he seems to me like a man who wants to do good by himself. Mm -hmm. Like he better. He's done a lot of come bad. Come on, guys. So. Cut him a slack, man. Give the brother. Yeah, you know, yeah the he brought himself. You know, the, I'm yes. saying the same thing. Yes. He brought he, himself to this point. Yes. By not doing Absolutely. the right thing, yes, I you agree. know. So, and there's only so much um, pity you can give a man that put a knife to somebody's neck and tried to rape them. Like, I agree. It's a bit sick. So, but 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 for me that? right now, I feel there's a whole lot of effort he's making. Mm -hmm. But I'm scared again. I'm skeptical now. Having is is um that that ban that restriction lifted. I hope. You know, because a lot of social media predators, people online every day, I mean, sexual predators online, I just hope um, that will not degenerate into something else that will get him into further trouble. You know, I, I want to believe that he knows what to do and not start visiting sites and he shouldn't be visiting and getting what involved. What kind of sites is that? I, I don't know. Pump, pump. Is it married Whatever fed, whatever fed, yes, I'm just fed saying. that type of mind to be aggressive in the first place. Is it a crime to visit? that could get him into trouble. It's a crime to visit um, porn it's, sites that use children. Under it's true. Children. That's what I'm saying. You know, anything that might get him into that line of trouble don't, again. We don't, we don't know that, if you know? he's still... I mean, I cannot say he wasn't ever perverted. He must have obviously been a sick child, teenager, whatever. At 16. He was just 16. He's a better man. Were you holding knives at people's neck at 16? Like, no, no, no I was not. not. That, like, different okay. environment, mm -hmm. different upbringing, different exposure. Story. The pe the There's people, people in the same, different, same environment that would never do that. Yes, so I agree. I'm just hoping that as a now that he has transcended into being a man, he's a better a married man. man. A, mm -hmm. And, and he's a better making man efforts to be a married man. A responsible man. man. Yeah. 
Cutting you know, himself but out. I just have my reservation <laughs> about that restriction being lifted, though. I just hope he doesn't get into any trouble based on this restriction being lifted. I don't even want to be Kenneth right now because I can't imagine you know? my social media freedom being taken away, man. That's Again, he has, he has, he has the right. There's a lot of things that were, ta that were, were taken away from him, yeah. and he's slowly getting them back. And we just hope that that is the best decision for the people who are giving this authority yeah. back. Because the whole idea is to protect the society. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have somebody who cannot function properly, I put in yeah. people's throats, a, a social then you need to be like cut away. Um, and the internet is so like broad, you can get a lot of exposure from that. You find people who go and shoot churches tell you that they learned that on the internet. They learned that. You know, so it, 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 we need I'm to concerned. like make sure that he is it's protected as well. Yes. And, and we're also protected. You know, but I'm, mentally, I'm hoping, I'm believing that. If he's that, well you know. rehabilitated and in the best state of mind for that. And uh, shockingly, actually, he also has has a restriction of movement. It, it can't travel out of southern um, southern California as it is right now. And so there's, there's a whole lot of restriction on him. Like, <laughs> Don't say that. Okay. Okay. It's time for a quick break. But when we return, there is definitely so much more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Baba? Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling all right. I still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DMs sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. Actress Lisa Omorodion calls out AMVCA organizers. She brings awareness to what she calls the discrimination against plus size women at the 2020 Africa Magic Viewers Choice Awards. According to Lisa, the fashion industry creates a fantasy world of what women are supposed to wear and that, and that a lot of women struggle to fit into this. She pointed out that um, at the AMVCA, not one plus size woman made it to the best dress list. She says the inclusion of women in the fashion industry is the way forward as the global plus size fashion industry is worth 20 billion dollars hmm. i like the fact that she got her stats correctly she, yeah. she's speaking from a place of information you know mm -hmm. but but what can i say i mean a, a light bulb came up when i read what she said but at the same time you know it's quite unfortunately it's what the media has portrayed beauty and sexy to mean and so we forget sometimes that there are a lot of bodacious women out there who are who are big, you know, who are cubby. Because the, the typical African lady is, is, is big and, and hippie and cubby. Mm -hmm. and, but in the light of what... Because we exist too. What are you on about? Now, like, I'm sorry. No, petite, petite is, uh -uh. Petite is sexy. Well, so Africans are also small. Yeah, yes, thank you. Petite, you know what I mean? Um, and it is what it is. I, I feel... I don't want to feel pity some kind of way. <laughs> but but, but, but it's, it's just what it is. It's, um, know, I, 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 think, I think what this did for I'm me... I'm trying to be careful. Mm. I'm using my words. Mm. You know? So I'm trying to help you <laughs> get out of your, the hole you're trying to dig for yourself. I think... Wait. Um, obviously, I'm not plus size, so I wouldn't necessarily think for them. And it kind of made me... You wouldn't know their struggle. Yeah. Mm. And, and, and it kind of made me um, also see how important it is to always be... When they say be a voice, like, you don't... Sometimes you don't understand, but, like, yeah. you, might not, you might be speaking for a lot of people who I would necessarily, or you or you might not necessarily speak, speak for. for. Mm -hmm. So that was really good on, on her, and, I, and I, I, I compliment her for that. The second thing is that AVM... AM, BCA. MVC needs to also now begin to understand that they're a big deal and you have to start yeah. putting people yeah. in place. And that's what happens when the table is not diverse, is that you can easily like lose. Can I a, a good example is, sorry, one, one second. Mm. A good example is global, whatever, the abroad, when you say that there's no black person on that table yeah. and then they um, remove the, a, a class, that's the, what's happening here. But is it 
because you are plus size that your name should then be on the list. What mm -hmm. if there wasn't any plus size lady that just didn't dress as nice? Thank you. I think that was where I was going to come from yeah. because, I mean, you people are making this whole thing, living in the world, so difficult. So you have to create space for gender equality, which we agree. Now, in that gender equality, have you have to create space, space for, for size. And and it's, I, don't think I get it. However, AMVCA, you said something. You said she was coming from a place of knowledge and information yeah. about right. the industry. However, she was not coming from a place of understanding the model that was used for AMVCA. Okay. Aside the people that um, contested for the best dressed, I hope you know there were thousands of people, I mean, not thousands, basically, there were hundreds of people that looked good but didn't make that make list it. because they got to the venue yeah. late. Did the plus size people get to that venue early and AMVCA says, oh no, this competition is only for. You know, yeah. slim. So you cannot just come and Probably attack people when your people were somewhere doing makeup and coming late and forming African time and then you're blaming AMVC. So because of that, they were supposed to break the rule to say, we need one plus size. So let's add one hour late. And then when you come in, you I mean, Again, you cannot a, just keep yeah. Again, attacking there's everybody anytime. Well, to, to, well, there's every possibility the AMVC were not even thinking towards this. They're tilting towards the yeah, but it, 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 now, get to the venue but, yeah, early it, 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 so you can be in the boots. It's it, 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 not really an excuse. I, I, agree, I, I, I totally agree. I, but I agree with Elsie until any plus the last size, end, Did any plus size women or attendees, and did, did they stand out in what they wore to the AMBCA? Did any plus size women you know? make it to the boots and they said, no, no sorry, we, this it's is not for plus size you. women? Again, um, it could be, you know, there's already this, there's always already an auto discrimination in our minds. Exactly. So they could just see them like, exactly. no, I don't, I don't want to talk. I don't, I don't want them in my camera. Uh, it's it's the, possible. Yeah, exactly. Unless, Unless someone that, comes out to tell me that happened at the AMVCA, then that's they, an assumption. Sorry, they, Elsie. Elsie it, it's already it's auto already there. programming. Yes. No. Like I have. No, I do Elsie, not Elsie, this agree. is it. I'm going to be honest with you that's on this fat, table. Hmm. Already, when I see a fat person, yeah. I already have a mindset. Plus yeah. size. Plus size. Okay, plus size. <laughs> I can't call them fat. Mm -mm. Apparently not. I don't get it because they call me skinny. So, exactly. exactly. Sure. If you're fat, you're fat. If you're mm -hmm. thin, you're thin. If you're skinny, you're skinny. It's okay. They when when is it? When is it? When is it? Um, body shaming, please. Uh, um, when is also when seated for? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's it. You know. So let, let's let's call it what it is. And, and, and I was going to agree to everything she said until the last bit where you said, do I then have to then make space for like I say, oh, I haven't added a, white, a fat person in there, and I think he is. And the time has closed. No, mm -mm. I, um, maybe not the time has closed, but I think we need to get more deliberate well, in making sure that every representation and plus is there. Size people should get more deliberate and get it to the event early. And I don't think it, I don't think this is just about getting to the event early. But I, I have to about agree. a particular event, right? And which is what she made her. Well, then she also talks about the fashion on. industry Industry's in general. That was just oh, like yeah. the conclusion to now say this is why I'm saying people should be uh, uh, conclusive because she felt there was a segregation. But I'm saying, except somebody comes to tell me that a plus size. No one is going to come and tell you that. Size. Like, no, no, someone can. Because if she, say, oh, I saw out. that somebody was thinking yes, that this person. No, how they're going to know that a plus size lady dressed good wanted to go to Elsie. that booth to take a picture and Elsie. they said, no, this is not for Elsie, plus we size. Can't, I'm single to read what I said earlier. We can't, we can't debunk the fact that yeah. for most of these people already. There's an auto problem. Yeah, I get Once what you're saying. Like that, I'm and just saying, let's have I can't, even, I can't even tell you that somebody didn't actually take a picture there and the picture didn't even make it to the cut Co yeah. because she was fat. Yeah, that's a, that's is, a big well, possibility. No, we can this prove no that. Yeah. It has not happened. That's mm, sexy and beautiful. It's quite unfortunate. It's, yeah. it's, it's what the world is. Okay. All right, moving on to the next story. The steady destigmatization of divorce is one of the best things to happen to women. When I was young, I was sure divorce wouldn't be an option for me, but um, okay, that's if I got married. But with age, I like the fact women and men can set themselves free from bad marriages. And this is coming from Tony Tones. I have to agree. Your favorite girl. I, I love her. <laughs> I have to agree. No, I, but I think she has some sound opinions, though. Oh, what, she, what do does. Yeah. she does. She this, does. This, yeah. And if there's any motivation I can digest, it's hers. Mm. And you see what I was saying about, like, she doesn't come out and say, live your best life. She talks. Like, you can feel her energy in there. Yeah. She's talking about her age and all that stuff. But let me and go she back. She creates a balance as well. Yeah, but let me go back to this topic. It's so important. Like, so important. And I know where it's stemming from. I know it's stemming from the fact that women are now even more empowered. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot more money even. Because divorce is expensive. Oh, really? Yeah, mm. divorce is expensive. If you look at the people who are divorcing today, especially if it's not a threat to their lives, like the physical lives, they're all wealthy. They're all middle class and above and can stand that, on their it own. Is, it, is, it is pretty expensive. It is. You can tell you us know. about that. No, uh, well, not, not necessarily <laughs> because at the end of the day, I mean, hey, 
I, I, I'm going to come from a place to understand that I think our, our religious um, settings, they've not helped out on this, where they tell the, the couple that it's for better, for worse. Mm -hmm. um, for better, for worse, many people have died in their marriage and never made it alive. You mm. know? And so I think, I did say some time ago on the show that the whole entire institution of marriage needs to be deconstructed. In the, in, the, in the light of the 21st century, there's so many expectations, all realistic expectations from that institution that is making many people go under. Mm -hmm. And so as quickly as you go in, you know, you go in there with so much expectation, you now realize, okay, it's not what I thought this is going to be. Um, I'm not ready to work this out if this was going to be. Then the both partners want to go their separate ways. And that's okay. And, and that is fine. You know, and I, I always also hold the opinion that sometimes it's not because the two people involved are bad people. They yeah. just don't fit. Yeah. I think the you only know. time I have a problem with divorce is when there are kids involved. That's when I'm always like a little, just a little bit more hesitant in promoting the idea of divorce. Especially, especially if the divorce, if the problem isn't one that the kids can. It means you don't support divorce. I, well, no, I do. The majority I do. of the marriages would have children in yeah. that marriage before they I do. What I'm saying is that if the kids are involved, especially if they're like teenage in sensitive areas, and the issue that you're having with your, with your partner. partner isn't necessarily directly affecting the children. So I'm not talking about you know abuse even if it's verbal or like mm -hmm. your relationship is actually I, I can say like have a healthy separation like i know a lot I, of families just, that live that. together yeah. um for the children yeah. and are not necessarily like separated divorce because i know what that does to children yeah, so i'm not going to sit here and like promote divorce that's that's separation. Separation. In, um, how does it work because yeah, i feel like it's going to still create another level of confusion in the minds of these kids but so this, this is it you're Let, two let's, individuals yeah. staying uh, together good thing, right that's it. Good and thing how we're exactly is that going to work good thing we're bringing the kids into it right now but i want to say you know sometimes in this but when there's a separation, if you don't divorce, people feel, you know what, it, it must have been really on a bad term. Yeah, you know? exactly. But it's not, it's not yeah. Mm -hmm. so. so you can still co-parent you know, really well. Thank you very much. I was going, so co-parent becomes easy when yeah. you and your partner are still friends. Yeah. It's just, it's not working. Not because one, yes, on many grounds, people can go their separate ways. Not because one partner is verbally, emotionally, yeah, physically abusive. together in the house and knowing yeah. that we are done and you know, I don't understand that part. That's bad. But, it, but, it, but it does happen. It happens. It happens. It, happens. it really you know, depends on the couple. I would just say it. that it does you happen. have to really consider because I'm from a like my parents are divorced and yeah. I know what that has done still doing so but do I appreciate that they did yes I think it would have been worse if they stayed together mm. but I've seen families work like that yeah. and as soon as a child turns 17 18 where they're already starting to like be on their own and be individuals they come out to say okay mom and dad are actually not doing really well let's part ways I feel like that saves a child from a lot of trauma and you can't be too selfish like you can be no. selfish for yourself but for your children you I cannot can't. I cannot not ask you to be unhappy for a tiny bit or yeah. Tiny yeah, because it's for business. a whole child that yeah. you did not that did not ask to come That's out. It. They, so they, they don't have they don't have really to feel whatever the reason was for both of you going your separate yeah. ways. So both of you have to find a way to provide all the love and attention they need. And yeah. don't forget, in this era we have what is called blended family. And so mm -hmm. I like what you said initially. Yeah. They will be fine. They will be fine at the end of the day. Okay, <laughs> moving on real quick. Yvonne Nelson sends message to ladies investing in looking perfect. She says, calm down, young girl. I'm not perfect. We aren't perfect. Don't push um, too hard to be perfect physically. It's okay to feel inadequate sometimes. We're only human. Put that energy into educating yourself. Use the part of your body um, many forget to use, the brain. Use it to its fullest. Read, explore, smile, speak up. Don't be afraid. Breathe and know this one thing you are perfect in God's eyes. You're different and that makes you unique. Never try to be someone else. Don't let them distract you. God has tailored your journey for you. Sending my love to you all. Smile, you're beautiful. Can That's from Eva Nelson. Can I go for Please do. <laughs> so says a lady who's tall, slim, curvy. Beautiful. And, I mean, beautiful. So I mean, with Beyonce <laughs> and that. Like, she's like, always doing the bikini shoots. Don't you get mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. So says a lady who comes up like someone with a very perfect oh, body and shape. Easy on the eyes. Don't you get it? I mean, Living in I mean, beauty I'm, privilege. But okay. <laughs> But, but it's okay. Now, I wish she, she should say this to Amara Dior, unless oh, no one Amara Dior is going to say about yes, this. Yes, of course. You know, so it, it comes up pretty kind of cheesy coming from Eva Nelson. <laughs> you know? well, I think I mean, Amara Dion will take it cool because she's mm -hmm. already advocating for a place. So she, she accepts who no, she No, I think Amara Dion will see Omar Dion will see that that statement is unrealistic. That's it. Because ah. you, and because she'll see that Eva that statement Nelson. is too lullaby. She's still like ringing around the roses. Like not everybody's fine. You have to understand that on face. Let's accept and if I, if I, and I know that. You know, I know people that are, are <laughs> not fine you. but have another thing going for them yeah. and they oh build on that asset. This morning is interesting. And then I know Eva people Nelson who are fine I don't 
have even, brain and you can milk that beauty. Even so, Nelson is beautiful, let's, and let's, I'm, I'm, yeah. maybe brains too. She's got a whole what? lot. Like, I, I'm not comfortable when people say people you know, don't use their brains. Like, if you feel like your the body is what sells, they're not for, for you. me. Why not? Then use it. If that's no, the privilege you got, that doesn't use mean the brain is not working. Perfect in girls' eyes. I mean, those are all cliches. Yeah, those are just, you know, like. Those eyes does not have anything is? to do with Instagram or like no. where you're getting your money from. Like, oh, let's just be real. I, Who I mean, I tell you, put bread. <laughs> <laughs> I understand where I mean, she's coming from. That women need to have good self-esteem. Confidence, but having you know, self-esteem self doesn't make you fine. I can be confident in my ugliness. I that can be doesn't make you fine, honey. Like I feel that way on Instagram a lot of the times. Most of the fashion trends that are happening now is built for BBW. Your ugliness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah. like, oh, you tell the I mean, girls on Instagram with like all these clothes, and they look fantastic. I'm like skin and bones, please. but I'm not going to then say that I'm confident and I'm bold and I'm thick. No, I'm not. But do I like my skinniness and my boniness? Yes. That's so it. if she's it talking about that, yes, back, then I mean, mm. don't don't make people feel some type of way. People, I think people should embrace who they are and accept. Who they are in their own skin. Yeah. If you're fat, you're fat. Embrace it. Love it. If you're thin, you're thin. Embrace it. I don't know about loving it. fat, I mean, but sure. No, I, 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 I'm it's if your fat is I'm, unhealthy, you know, like, mm, yeah, I don't know Let's, about let's that. come from, from that angle, you know, because I feel fat is pretty much unhealthy. And so if you're fat, you got to shed some of those weight. Like, do something. You too, but you Check know, your you, diet. Hold on, I love healthy. you too. We need to <laughs> Check go. your diet. Mm -hmm. Get into the gym. Mm -hmm. One of those, some of those fat. If you want to. If you want to. And if they don't want to, that's fine as well. Live with it. Yeah. Be confident in your ugliness. In your fatness. I like that. If there's, anything I'm taking away, I just, if there's anything I'm taking away from the show, be confident in your fatness, in your ugliness, and, and your beauty. And in your beauty. There's All beauty in that unique side. Be confident side in yourself, it's whatever okay. it is. It's okay. It. Thank mm. you so much. <laughs> That's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. I remember you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, A Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my amazing co anchors, Ife Omai and Benny Yak, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay with us.